I would like to preface this video by stating that I sincerely enjoyed Final Fantasy XVI. I doubt it will squeeze itself into one of my favourite Final Fantasy titles, but there is no doubt I had a blast with the game. Please be warned that this video will contain spoilers, some minor, some major. I strongly urge you to actually give Final Fantasy XVI a go if you have the money and or time. Both PS5 consoles and the game are not cheap, and 16 does take a significant amount of time to clear. Thank you to Connor for lending me his PS5. Which leads me to my first random and strong opinion about the game. Obviously, having 2 second long loading times and orgasmic cinematic moments in the game are all great, but much of the game made me think, why couldn't they just make a PS4 version of this? Both my partner and I quickly got sick of the hidden item handovers and fade out to black and fade into characters having changed position, basically things we would expect from Yakuza titles, and not even the new ones at that. Of course, all these last-gen-esque features were reminiscent of another game, Final Fantasy XIV. Final Fantasy XVI is essentially Final Fantasy XIV too, which is not a bad thing at all. Final Fantasy XIV's supposed 43 million players would certainly find XVI much more engaging, especially with the blatant references to UI, in-game features, setting, soundtrack, and summons. I mean primals, I mean icons. But in some ways, it makes Final Fantasy XVI feel lazy and uninspired. Especially if you consider the fact that many of Final Fantasy XVI world building is very similar to Final Fantasy Type-0 or Reishiki, War among different nations, represented by varying elemental gods, and there are those who can use magic without crystals being treated differently by the general public. In fact, they could have just turned Final Fantasy XVI into a single player version of Final Fantasy XIV and given it a subtitle like Warrior of Flames or Type F. Even as someone who believes playing JRPGs or watching anime in any other language that is not Japanese is an unforgivable sin, I have to admit the English voice acting was excellent. However, Michael Christopher Koji Fox and his team did a disgustingly awful job translating the Japanese. The English dialogue was extremely cringy, over the top, and full of unnecessary coining and terms, including the curses. But most significantly, it ruined many of the characters, making calm characters like Clive, modest and innocent characters like Joshua, and amicable characters like Gal, come off as sarcastic assholes. Have these translators never had siblings or friends before? Because they certainly made the characters interact like they've never had any meaningful connections with anyone before. I found it bizarre that this was mostly an issue exclusive to the English translation. Also, founder? Go find a better translator. Gameplay-wise, I enjoyed the combat systems reminiscent of God of War. At times, it would be challenging enough, especially in the New Game Plus Final Fantasy mode, for me to actually think about my build. It is a shame, however, like my friend Alex said, that you don't get to control other party members. But with Clive being the character who absorbs and can utilize multiple icons, I understand this single playable character decision. Square Enix really should have just trashed Final Fantasy XV entirely when they decided to redesign Final Fantasy vs. XIII, and just made Final Fantasy XVI the next entry to the franchise. Young man of a royal bloodline with a dead daddy and a brooding thirst for revenge, collecting of powers from powerful gods in order to save the world from inevitable doom by virtue of some historically significant dark force which is turning citizens into monsters. All of the same ideas were better written and executed by Final Fantasy XVI. Plus, the sexy and cute men were all covered by Clive, Joshua, and Dion, replacing the anorexic crew of Final Fantasy XV, who will not be missed. I know that Yoshi P and his team mentioned making the story and setting darker, but I personally think they should not have put so much emphasis on such a statement. It wasn't so dark. In fact, there were so many touching moments in both the main story and side quests that the beautiful moments outweighed the sad, hopeless, and political elements by quite a bit. Clive is one of the very few Final Fantasy protagonists who is actually shown to or clearly implied to get some during the plot of the game. He may not be as suave as Balthier, but still good for him. 
Final Fantasy 16 is political to a large extent, much like Final Fantasy Tactics, Final Fantasy 12, and Final Fantasy Type-0, which in my opinion are all quite fantastic. Many people criticize Final Fantasy 16 for its unnecessary political aspects, but I for one personally appreciated all the parts my partner fell asleep to. The one part of Final Fantasy 16 that I could not stand, and just wanted to skip the entirety of, was Onward. All these settings, characters, and plot introduced during this dreadful part were truly a test of my patience, and accelerating Onward to boredom. Luckily, one of the best, if not the best part of Final Fantasy XVI was right around the corner of this sleeping pill of a chapter. The ending needed more. Where, where, followed by credits, followed by random children who are ooh, ooh, monkey man, smack stone, make fire, is not a good ending. Which is so stupid, because the ingredients were all set up, and then just thrown away. The whole theme at the end was it's because of everyone and our bonds that makes us stronger, makes it ridiculously ironic that everyone is separate in the final scenes of the game. But the two ending songs, Tsuki wo Miteita and My Star were mwah, excellent. Final Fantasy VII Remake's ending, Hollow, was also great. I personally do not like Yonezu Kenshi or Amanda Ashen or Yosh as artists, but man, those songs were bangers. Well, that's about all I have to say about Final Fantasy XVI. Despite my complaints, I actually genuinely like the game. I hope my random and strong opinions resonated with some of you. And thank you for wasting your time on my video. 